Hello, my beautiful Pisces friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. We are here to do a Celtic cross spread for how your person of interest with whom you interact with is thinking, feeling, intending, and likely actions with you. At the bottom of the deck, chariot card. There's an action card, if I ever saw one. Cancerian energy, honey, I'm home. Throwing caution to the winds, thinking about marriage, having a lot to tell you. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So the current energy that your person has for you, whoa, okay, Capricorn energy. So Pisces, your person wants to make a beautiful offer to you. This is a very incredibly gorgeous person. We have glitter in the hair. We have the bare chest with a beautiful tattoo. But da -dum, we have a strings attached, puppety type narcissistic energy. I'm going to call it narcissistic because of this, this sort of attachment. It can be toxic. It also can be simply limitations in the relationship. But let's explore further. Nine of swords. Your person owes you an apology, and they know they owe you an apology. They are having sleepless nights. Five of wands. There's been some sort of argument here that has really come close to destroying the relationship. In the recent past, the two of you were underwater. Pisces, this is your energy. It really speaks to the fact that your person, you may not really be speaking with them. It looks as though you may be hiding out. There's a sense that you're underwater. Whatever this person did that was toxic was very, very unsettling, very, a very negative energy. The world card says that you are way too... Um, way too efficient in your life. The world card is all about success. It's a new cycle. It's your person wants a new cycle with you. They feel as though the two of you can move forward, Pisces, in a very positive manner. But I'm not necessarily seeing that as being something that is really going to come to fruition. So it is a card of closing out one cycle and beginning another, but it is another successful cycle is what they want with you. Okay, round two. Okay, Ten of Cups, Pisces energy, Pisces energy. Pisces, your person really loves you. Your person really adores you. They feel as though they want to spend a lifetime with you. What are they bringing to the table? Your person feels as though they are in healing mode. Four of Swords energy, tired, exhausted. This could also be from a work schedule that is grueling. Capricorn does rule the Tenth House. So part of what could what this can be, Pisces, is if your person is a workaholic, it is disruptive to the relationship. The Four of Swords says that they're resting. There are two storylines here. So Five of Coins, Pisces, Pisces, your person feels left in the cold by you. The Four of Swords, they feel like they're healing. They feel like there's something that you have not necessarily told them. They think that maybe the relationship's over and you just haven't told them. They really just don't know what they don't know, Pisces. The Six of Coins, they want a relationship of equal give and take with you. And they plan on winning. Whoa! So when we look at the world card and the emperor card, your person looks as though they're headed for a big career success. And so they see you, Pisces, as someone with whom they want to have a future. They feel like they're strategizing and sort of working the relationship backwards. Let me explain what I mean. It looks as though your person is really hell-bent on material success. That's what the emperor does, okay? That's your outcome. Strategic moves. The emperor has a big chess piece. The emperor is uh, the CEO, the CFO, the leader, the king of the kings. Your person's very successful in their outer life, but they want and they're really very almost addicted to their career. I'm seeing that as being the primary cause of this devil energy. Since it's Capricorn, your person really wants to have success with you. They're exhausted, though. They look like they could be working two jobs. They're very obsessed with making money. They're very obsessed with making a breakthrough. Okay, so let's look and see what the Moonology deck is going to say about this relationship. 
So your person really loves you, they're in it to win it, but they really feel as though they have not been giving to the relationship, nor do you. They do love you though, look at that, Six of Cups. They think in the near future, the two of you are gonna live happily ever after, but the energy is very discordant, very unsettling for you, as well as them at this time. So the Moonology deck is saying emotions are running high. All right, both of you are in a very emotional state at this time. The chariot card indicates that, you know, very moving forward very quickly. The two of you are talking in depth about your future, but it does look as though you're just having a real disagreement about what that looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify the cards for you, Pisces. Why do we have devil energy here for our Pisces? Pisces friends, their, their significant other is feeling as though their hands are tied, that they have limited amounts of what they can give our Pisces friends. So let's see what we have. Strength card. Okay. You may be dealing with a Leo. You may be dealing, when we look at the Leo in the fifth house, we're looking at somebody who could be out in the public. Your person has fire in their belly to win something at a level that they can actually share with you in the relationship. So they see that right now it's toxic because there's no money, there, there's time away. They feel as though as they chase their dream, okay, and success, that they have to pay the price. And this is a price that they're paying. And to them, it's very straightforward. I don't see anything that's ugly here. Capricorn energy is ruled by Saturn and it's always, you know, the taskmaster. So why are they regretful? The Six of Swords. Your person feels as though you may want to move forward and they have not really allowed time or space to support you in that energy. They feel as though they do owe that to you. They feel as though you've given it to them. The High Priestess. They know, Pisces, that you are not telling them how upset you are that you're keeping it to yourself, that you're underwater, that you might even feel down in the dumps because of this. And it is a Six of Wands energy. Oh, Pisces, look at this. They know that you support them in their quest to be a winner. This is being in the limelight, the spotlight. And it does look like both of you may be on, your career paths may be clashing or what I'm seeing is that your person may be getting recognition that you aren't Pisces. They may feel that that you are, you know, feeling depressed because of where you're at in your life. But again, that is something that they are projecting onto you. Whether it's true or not is up to you to decide. The Seven of Wands energy says that your person is very much fighting for this relationship. Pisces, they want the relationship. They think that by creating stability and love and money and security and worldly success that the relationship has the legs to stand on the moon card. They have fears, you know. Nothing has been proven yet in this relationship. Both of you are having fears about where you're at in the relationship at this time. The Four of Swords is here. What needs to be healed? The Lover's card. You guys need time away. You need time to really have, you know, to, to be lovers, to really explore in a leisurely fashion. Looks like you need a good vacation. Looks like everybody's working too hard and money's tight. Could be. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Why is it here? Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. Pisces, your per person is doing all of these things to try to create a foundation for the two of you to come together with your dream. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So that is how your person feels, Pisces. We have their biggest fear at this time is the Page of Swords. They feel as though sometimes sharp words can get in the way. They feel as though, you know, they're watching you. They're just really watching you. They're watching you earn more money. They're watching what you're doing. They're just really spying on you a great deal, Pisces. What is the Emperor card here? Why is it here? 
The Emperor card is the outcome is clarified by the Nine of Swords. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords twice. So your person is beginning to understand and see the light that yes, they can go for what they want, but remorse and regret, you can't, you have to take time for the relationship. They feel remorse and regret after, from chasing to almost the exclusion of the relationship, they're having remorse and regret that they don't have more free time. The Four of Coins, they're holding on to this relationship. There's no way they're letting go. So that's what we have for the clarifiers. Let's see what the Shaman's Dream Oracle has for advice for you, Pisces, in this relationship. It's a very beautiful, loving relationship, but you're both feeling very much underwater. Let's see what Spirit is going to recommend Okay, for our Pisces friends. Beloved, radical acceptance. Radical acceptance for a radical way of approaching love by building a foundation that's very stable financially that will create a beautiful home for you and just radically accepting the concept that, you know, it can come into fruition in a way that seems a bit backwards. However, in the quote unquote olden days, people used to get married to build the foundation what I'm seeing here is that your person wants to build the foundation before they marry you. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Sending you love. Take care. Thank you for watching.